so we are going to revise the chapter of html forms so what is the use of html form html forms are used when you want to collect some data from the site visitor okay you want to collect the data from the user and you want to submit the form to the end server okay for example uh, you uh, fill up your name age your class your email everything inside the form and then you click on the button and data gets submitted okay so this is the benefit of form it actually acts as an interface in the user specified layout which accepts the data from the user okay you can online fill the form and you can click on the button uh, to send the data to the server am i clear up till here the general meaning of html forms all right so how to use form in html in order to use forms in html we will be using form tag form tag is a container tag it has form opening as well as form closing tag so this is your container tag and uh, the different attributes of form tag are method action then name and target okay clear so what is uh, the action method of form the action method of form specifies the url which will receive the uploaded data okay it contains the url of that page which will receive your uploaded data that you have uploaded in form of forms okay then the method method attribute means what method has been applied to upload the data the method attribute has two values get and post get and post what is the role of get method get method is used to send get method is used to send the information to the url which is specified by action attribute okay whatever url whatever name of the page action attribute specifies to that particular page get method will transfer your data right so in concluding part we can say that get method is used to send the information to the server in just one step but you cannot send the sensitive information by using the get method if you want to upload the sensitive information then you have to make use of the post method the post method is used to send the information in http environment okay http stands for hypertext transfer protocol and when we add s suffix to it that becomes secure hypertext transfer protocol secure okay am i clear up till here then target attribute what is the role of target attribute target attribute specifies where the result will be displayed okay uh, it has following values underscore blank underscore self and underscore parent right these are the possible values of target attribute of form tag then there is one more attribute of uh, form tag that is called enc type that is encoding type this is also an attribute of form tag what is the role of uh, enc type attribute that is encoding type attribute 
it is used to specify how the browser will encode the data before submitting the data to the server before your data should go to the server the data has to be encoded how the data will be encoded that is uh, decided by the attribute enc type that is encoding type okay so action target method and uh, enc type these all are the attributes of form tag clear now the question arises uh, how we create the controls right how to uh, how we create the controls uh, in order to create the control we make use of input tag it is an empty tag okay it has no closing tag with the help of input tag you can create various type of controls using the controls you will be interfacing with the form you will be linking with the form okay for example controls like text box password box okay radio button check box clear then your buttons all these controls can be created with the help of input tag up till here am i clear to everyone attending the lecture please raise your thumb and give the feedback to me fast parikshit hasita lecture is clear up till here all right now what controls we can create with the help of input tag we can create text box we can create radio button we can create check box we can create buttons we can create password box okay then what other type of controls are there we can create combo box by the use of select tag we can create the list box okay clear so all these type of controls we can create right clear all of you and remember input tag is an empty tag it has no ending tag clear now comes the type of boxes that we can create first is uh, our text box text box is a single entry box you can enter the data which uh, comprises of a single line you cannot enter the multi line data using the text box control okay so what is the command in order to create the text box in html using html forms input type equal to text then give the name to the control by this name internally your control will be identified at the server i am giving the name t1 okay then you can give the size attribute also size is also an attribute of input tag by specifying the size attribute you can specify how much characters can be entered in the text box like i have given the value 70 so up till 70 characters you can enter the data in the text box okay am i clear then uh, you can uh, type here whatever uh, label you want here i am typing like first name okay am i clear you can create the label by using the label tag also label tag is used to define the name to the element to find the name to the control like i am giving label attribute for for is the attribute of label tag equal to name okay right and then uh, closing the label tag then in the input tag you are specifying the attribute id the value of id attribute should correspond should be similar to the value of for attribute used inside the label tag the value of for attribute of label tag should be equal to the value of id attribute which is used inside the input tag both these values should be same when you want to label the any particular element in form 
Am I clear with the role of label attribute? Sorry, label tag. Srishti, Jia, Parina. The role of label tag is thoroughly clear to you all. Up till here, any doubt in the revision part? Shall I continue further? All right. So let us quickly go through the attributes of input tag. It is type. The type attribute specifies the type of control that you want to create. Whatever control you want to create, the control name will appear as value of type attribute. Like suppose you want to create the text box, so the type attribute will be having the value uh, text. If you want to create the radio button control, then uh, the type attribute will be having value radio. And similarly for the checkbox, the type attribute will have value checkbox. Okay, fine. Then the next attribute of input tag is name. The name attribute specifies the name of the control and through this name your control will be identified okay then the next attribute is value value means the initial value the first value that you provide to the control okay the first value that you provides to the control that is called the that is the role of value attribute. Okay. Then we have the size attribute. Size attribute, I told you earlier, only 10 class. It specifies how many characters you want to enter in the text box. Like in the example, I shared this portion. Already I have given the value 70. 70 means that 70 character data can be entered in the text box. Got it? So size is also an attribute of uh, your uh, input tag. Then max length. What is the role of max length? Uh, when we are specifying the password control, how much maximum length your password can contain? Okay, then min length. Min length is, suppose I'm setting min length equal to six and I am using control password. So that means my password should be minimum of six length. Six characters definitely must be there. If it go beyond the limit, if it goes less in the limit, so it, a browser will indicate message to you via tooltip. Got it? Clear? So how to create the password box? Password actually provides the security. Why we use password? The general use of password is to provide the security level. Right? So in order to give the password, my type attribute will take the value password. You can set any name to the password control. I am setting the name pass and I am setting the minimum length of the password as eight. My password must be of minimum eight characters. It should not accept password that is less than the eight characters. It can have more than eight, that is no problem. But a minimum eight is the requirement. Am I clear with the revision part up till here? Only one thumb I am uh, looking, Parina's thumb is raised. Srishti, Jia, 20 roll number, no feedback coming from you. Jia, 19 roll number, Prikshit, Prabjot. Srishti, Parikshit, 19 roll number Jia, now you are coming in the class Jia, after three times your name has been announced. Yes Parikshit, don't try to fill the formality. All right. Now moving on to the multi-line box. Now in order to create the multiple line box, we'll be using the text area tag. Text area tag is a very special tag 
that is used to create a box which enables the user to enter more than one line of text okay what do you call multiple line so this tag has values rows you are to specify the box by mentioning the dimensions of rows and columns i am specifying 10 rows and i am mentioning 15 columns okay and i am using the name attribute to specify the name to my control i am using the name text1 okay and close the text area tag close the text area tag okay so this will create a multi line box of dimension 10 rows and 15 columns where you can enter the paragraph and uh, at the lower right corner there are uh, some uh, arrows uh, dragging which you can elongate the size of text box as per your requirement okay clear next we have how to create the check box beta in our uh, check box is a control that enables the user to select more than one option from the given choices and check box is square in shape you can select multiple check boxes like suppose i am giving the hobby section and i am typing i am giving 10 choices uh, in a under hobby section so you can activate any four any five or all 10 as per your convenience okay so how to create the check box input type equal to check box name i am giving c1 you can give any name okay and i am giving the value here cricket okay like this you can create the check box right then comes how to create the radio button what is the role of radio button radio button enables to select only one particular option from the given choices and it is circular in shape like suppose i am giving the value input type equal to radio name equal to i am giving r1 and i am giving value here medical okay so this is how you can select the radio uh, you can create the radio button next comes how to create buttons beta in order to create buttons in uh, html we have two methods first is by using input tag second is by using button tag by using button tag okay so let us uh, revise both the methods to create the buttons okay so when we are creating the buttons using the input tag i am taking the type attribute i am giving the value submit name i am giving sub okay and the uh, value of the button the initial value of the button i am giving submit now what is the role of submit button when the user click on submit button then the forms data is submitted to the back end application okay that is automatically your form will get submitted to the back end application next type of button that you can create is reset button 
am giving the name R1. Then I am giving the value here. Reset. What is the role of reset button? When the user click on reset button, all the form controls, they are reset to the default values. All the form controls are reset to the default state. Okay. Am I clear to all up till here? Any doubt? Any queries? Now, this was the creation of buttons using the input tag. Now, let us create using button tag. Button type equal to submit. Okay. Provide the label, provide the value here and close the button tag. Button tag is a container tag. This is how you can create button submit or reset using the button tag. Same, you can create the reset button. Okay. Am I clear? Yes, class, up till here, any doubt, any questions? Am I clear up till here, all of you? All right. Now, uh, when we create the checkbox, what are the various attributes of input tag while creating checkboxes type name value checked checked means that when your form get loaded by default one value is already activated so whichever value you want that it should get activate, it should get selected. In that command, you write the word checked. You write checked. Okay. So that option will be automatically selected by default when your form will get loaded. Clear? So these are the attributes uh, of input tag when you create the checkbox. Now coming to the concept of combo box. Now better combo box or drop down box or select box. In order to create such boxes, uh, we'll be using the select tag. Okay. Now, when we use the combo box, when we have many options available with us and we have to select one or two options from the given choices. Okay, so two tags are used in order to create the combo box. One is select tag. Inside the select tag, we use the option tag. Inside the select tag, we use option tag. The number of choices you want in the combo box, the number of times you have to use the option tag. Am I clear? So like, for example, I'm giving an example over here. Select name equal to screen option value equal to size. Then giving the uh, label here and closing the option tab. So I am copy pasting this. 
then you can create as many options as you want. Okay, you can change the name over here. Like I am giving arts, and you can give arts over here. I am giving here uh, commerce. You can specify the value commerce over here. I am giving value here uh, law. You can specify the value law over here like this. And uh, finally, you close the select tab. Am I clear? So, what are the various attributes of select tab? Name, size, multiple. Name attribute, already you know the role of main attri uh, name attribute. Now, what is the role of size attribute? It is used to present a list box. When you want to scroll through the list, using the scroll bar, you want to scroll through the list. That time we make use of size attribute. Okay, especially when we want to create the list box in order to scroll through the list. Okay, then we have multiple attribute of uh, select tag. When you want to select multiple items from the menu. When you want to select multiple items from the menu. This is also used when the user creates the list box. Am I clear? Yes, class. Am I clear to all of you? So once again, I'm revising quickly the main main points. Uh, method attribute uh, is having two values, get and post. Method value decides which method is used to apply to send the data. Okay. So get method, get method will send the information to the URL specified by the action attribute. Okay. And it is used to send the data to the server. Then post method is used to send the information in the HTTP environment. Okay. Clear. And uh, the role of action attribute is action attribute specifies the URL where your data will be sent. Clear? Am I clear up till here? So label tag, I have told you, label tag is used to define the name to the control, define the label, label for the element and the for attribute of label tag, uh, whatever value it will contain, the value of the for attribute should be equal to the value of ID attribute that is used inside the input tag. ID is the attribute of input tag for is the attribute of label tag. Am I clear up till here, all of you? Now quickly I revise some full forms. OSS, it is open source software. W3C, World Wide Web, Consortium, okay, FOSS, free and open source software plus free library open source software GPL journal public license GNU, GNU, not Unix, PhD, Berkeley, software, distribution, ICT, information and communication technology, Okay, FOI, 
freedom of information ssl secure socket layer ssh secure shell sftt secure file transfer protocol okay then https hypertext transfer protocol secure right up till here all are clear then mit massachusetts institute of technology okay i think all are covered nothing is left sgml standard generalized markup language clear then fsf free software foundation clear so all the full forms i have covered with you clear all of you